So we're all plugged in. Let's listen to what this thing sounds like. beautiful sound of the synthesizer expander module SEM the SEM sound here remade by the master in 2021 handcrafted by Tom Oberheim himself I feel so lucky and so fortunate to have this beautiful synthesizer here with me and I want to share it with you and what it sounds like and for those who are unfamiliar with this synth I'll just tell you briefly what makes it so cool first of all what you see right here is the synthesizer expander module and when Tom Oberheim invented this in the 70s it was rather revolutionary you had such a small compact beautiful sounding synthesizer in this kind of box whereas prior the kind of benchmark was the mini Moog and that was practically the whole size of this keyboard and this synthesizer expander module does everything that you would want with a two oscillator mono synth and even the way that the modulation is set up it's all super compact and very methodically laid out it's a masterpiece in itself now what makes a two voice so special is that we have this mono synth here but then it is duplicated for a second time right here to become the second voice so essentially it really is a duophonic synth in the sense that we have two voices and they can be individually programmed and you can split the keyboard like I was doing in that first example or you can layer them when you have two separate synthesizers in one it opens up a whole kind of different world of sound design one thing I really love about Oberheim synthesizers is the attention to the stereo spectrum and uh, it's quite simple but the OBX, OBXA, OB8, they all had voice panning. And same with this synthesizer. So you can tell the voices where to be on the stereo spectrum. And that can give you a wide sound without using any effects. So let's listen to what that sounds like. I'm just going to pan synthesizer A to the left and synthesizer B to the right. So yeah, you can layer it and that can get really interesting, especially if you design a sound on synthesizer A and then do the same one on synthesizer B and then pan them left and right. So then you can get a really wide sound, almost like a chorus effect, but it's all analog. So let's do something like that. Okay, I've gotten pretty close. It's already real thick. Let's now pan them left and right. huge I love it with a simple creation of one sound on one side and the same sound probably slightly different on the right huge sound and that also brings me to two noteworthy topics with this synthesizer and that is th there's no presets on this just like the mini Moog so you have to know what you're doing you have to be a sound designer essentially but what's great about these legendary synthesizers is that no matter how you twist the dials you're probably going to stumble upon something beautiful um and another thing is with these legendary synths is that modulation is not really the focal point the, the focal point is the sound and that's what this synthesizer has in spades is 
raw sound, just beautiful sounds. Um, I'm going to start just kind of veering away from what we were just doing and kind of explore the synth and make various sounds. <laughs> Let's see what the pulse width modulation sounds like. pluck sounds. Put on some chorus. Cool. Let me try some pulse. Interesting, if you use external, you can actually get velocity to control the amount of modulation on the filter. Trigger the notes.
fun to play with the sequencer and twist and dials on this and that's what this thing is all about beautiful sounds every way you twist the dial you're going to get something interesting something beautiful something inspiring so i've had this for about a few hours now <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm excited to grow with it you know these these types of instruments this the model d profit oberheim obxa all the classics these these are these are instruments that you grow with and uh they're not something you just pull out and know the whole thing right away. But that's that's what's so fun about these instruments is that they're so deep. So any questions or comments about this instrument, drop them in the comments. And I'll see you next time for more videos here on YouTube.